Hi guys, Pitch Perfect here and today I'm going to be talking through the new update for YouTubers Life which is still in early access on Steam and has just been updated to version 0.7.11 and quite a few changes have been made, mostly bug fixes but some of the major changes to the gameplay is the way that the card system has been implemented and that's something that I wanted to talk to you guys about and show you the new features and yeah let's take a look so now when you get presented with these cards you get these different emoticon faces and you need to try and guess which kind of one goes best with the recording as usual like for here uh, the base was destroyed and that's something that we're not going to be particularly happy about so we're going to go with the angry emoticon card and it pops up to say that that was the right choice and uh, same as before it's got the light bulbs to tell you how much of your energy it would use up and that's why this one's blurred off because we don't have enough energy for it because we've only got four. So this one, interactive loading screen, it's not, it's not exactly something that you're going to be happy about. So I'm going to go for this goofy one and we'll be a bit silly and a bit funny instead. Uh, and you can see by the sound that that was actually the right choice for that card. But the other thing is, whereas before this was a question mark, it has now been replaced with this emoticon. So what happens now is the game now tracks the right responses to the cards in game. So the next time that this game screen comes up, instead of the question mark, we'll have this emoticon reminding us that this was the correct response. So you don't actually have to remember anymore which cards worked and which didn't. And personally, I think that's a really great thing. I think the improvements to the card system are really good. I think it makes a bit more sense now. It's a bit more interactive. You have to think about um, your emotion as well as the sort of type of comment you're going to make. I actually think it's a much better system, so I'm actually quite pleased with the updates. I mean, a lot of people have been quite negative, but I actually think it works and it's still interactive. You still have to work out what's going to work. But once you've got like the main bit figured out, like what's the best like emotion to choose, the game will remember that for you. So you no longer have to remember which type of cards were successful. It will always come up with the emoticon prompting you to pick that type of card. And I actually think that's a great system. I think it makes the game a bit more playable and a bit easier. And I like this kind of interactive recording part of making the video. So the other thing I wanted to talk about as part of the new card system is the way in which you now get new cards. So as before, as you level up, you get cards um, and they're constantly updating and you constantly get new cards and you get slightly better cards as you get to slightly higher level. But um, the new thing is that now when you level up and get a card, you get a choice. So you get to choose which card you want. And that brings me to the other feature, which is the card collection. And it's like a card deck builder you now get to choose what cards are in your deck and essentially you get to choose which cards will will come up when you're recording a video so the really cool thing about this is if there's a particular card that you don't like or you don't want to use you don't have to use it you don't have to have it in your deck like for example there are cards that have copyright strikes and will cause copyright strikes on your video and yes that can be like the implications of that can be reduced later in the game when you join networks but early on in the game that's not something that you want to have to deal with you either have to remember which part of the recording came up with the strike and not use that while you're editing or you use it and end up having to deal with the strike and therefore 
having to pay a sum of money to sort of deal with it. Um, and now you don't actually have to do that if you don't want to. I mean, you can if you choose to, but you can actually choose not to have those cards in your deck. And I think that's brilliant because it takes away the hassle of having to deal with copyright. And yeah, so I think it's a really good feature. You get to choose the cards that you like best, so like represent your personality and how you want to put your videos together and build your own deck and I think that is really awesome so yeah I am really pleased with the update I think the game is going really well I personally love the game I've been playing for quite a few hours in my free time and I'm really enjoying it I just think the update and the new card system are really good I like the interactivity of it and I like the new car building deck and I think the developers are doing a really good job so yeah that is everything that I wanted to say I hope that's been uh, somewhat of use to you and uh, you've enjoyed the video if so then please leave a like and drop me a comment because I love hearing from you guys so thank you for watching and I'll see you all again soon bye